The fall season has arrived in eastern North Carolina. Well, as much of a fall as we get to experience here. The temps are starting to cool down and we're welcoming a reprieve from the miserable humidity of the summer. The leaves are vibrantly changing colors and dancing in the wind as they make their descent. As the harvesting seasons are drawing to a close, the homestead is busy, hunting and storing up venison, welcoming a final litter of bunnies, and saying thank you and goodbye to this year's batch of meat birds. Change happens so quickly around here, such as the slow introduction of our new barn kitties, Millie and Hazel, and our new herd of sheep. We're quickly realizing that seven sheep is too many on our slower growing pasture as the soil temperature is falling and the rain is not, which leaves us with important decisions to make, an effort to preserve our land and still maintain a healthy and thriving flock. As the daylight shortens, the whole farm feels sleepy. Later starts in the morning as the sun takes its time waking up and the fog dulls its rays. Even the roosters delay their crowing as they become in sync with the changes. Just like the falling leaves, chicken feathers drift to and fro as our hens molt old ones and make way for the new ones. The combination of less sunlight and shedding feathers decrease their egg production as their bodies realize this is not the season to hatch and raise babies. But that time will return again soon, and I trust they'll be well rested and ready to pick up where they left off. Our rabbits much prefer the cooler seasons to the warmer ones. Most rabbits struggle with infertility during the excessive heat of the summer, so we choose to breed our bunch in early spring and fall, so everyone stays comfortable and as stress-free as possible.
Mornings take a little longer these days, moving chickens and occasionally sheep too. It's important to keep them moving regularly as not to stay in their own mess for too long. Fresh daily grass is arguably the most beneficial element for livestock that's managed in captivity. There's a whole spiritual lesson in that, but we'll save that for another video. there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit has the worker from that in which he labors? I have seen the God-given task with which the sons of men are to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. I know that nothing is better for them than to rejoice and to do good in their lives, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it, and nothing taken away from it. God does it, that men should fear before Him, that which is already been, and what is to be has already been. And God requires an account of what is past. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 15. As the seasons turn, I'm left reflecting on that which has been and that which is to come. What did we learn from the previous seasons and how can we grow and be better stewards of the upcoming ones? We've experienced hard times and happy times around the farm this summer. Many long working days that left us crawling into bed for much needed rest. And just like the good father that he is, the Lord blessed us with the strength and ability to carry on each day, just as he will continue to do going forward. In every season of life, he is good. And for that, his praise will continually be on our lips. As we enter into this season of thanksgiving, remember to take pause and look at what the Lord has done.